हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज प्रीति संदीप मोहित है टुडे वी विल डिस्कस विथ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक दैट इज एडवर्टाइजिंग दिस इज द सिलेबस दिस इज फॉर एस वाई बी कॉम स्टूडेंट्स दिस फोर मॉडल्स आर देयर इन द थर्ड सेमेस्टर दैट इज फर्स्ट वन इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू एडवर्टाइजिंग सेकेंड एडवर्टाइजिंग एजेंसी थर्ड economic and social aspects of advertising and the last one brand building and special purpose advertising so today we'll discuss with the first module that is introduction to advertising this is the definition of advertising advertising is a creative process which involve among other things that is planning preparing and placing advertisement in the media to achieve desired objective now you will find out many features here in this definition itself like it is a creative process then the planning is important preparing placing advertisement and ultimately whatever you are doing you have to achieve the objective hence the objective is also important next we'll begin with the features of advertising first one is the process now in process where uh, this is the systematic process in advertising we have to prepare the things we have to plan for the advertising and we have to place those advertising now for planning we have to uh, how we have to prepare that ad to whom we have to prepare when we have to advertise all this thing we have to decide in planning itself then in preparing we have to prepare those advertising very creative manner and at the end when we are placing that advertising that we have to place in any medias now you know very well medias are like newspaper television internet and so on so this is the main features of advertising that is process next paid and control form advertising is paid form it means that we have to it advertiser have to pay to the media for booking time and space and this feature is differentiate publicity because publicity is non paid form next ideas goods and services idea means that it create the awareness creating awareness campaign like environment protection campaign or family welfare campaign and so on goods we are talking about if uh, fmcg goods like toothpaste soap then shampoo and so on services includes banking services insurance services and so on next come to art science and profession so when we are talking about art advertising is art why it is art because the creative people are required here and whenever we are uh, creating any advertising it should be a creative manners it should be more if your advertising is creative then it will be good impact in the mind of customer hence art is required then science whenever we are preparing any advertising it should be in a systematic manner and after preparing and placing of advertising it should be uh, uh, scientifically proven then professionalism it means that nowadays uh, professional firms professional advertising agencies are doing all these activities next universal usage advertising is used by anyone like individual business firm even government organization ngos and so on next consumer choice advertising facilitate consumer choice it means that when we are we the advertise are produced at that time we are giving all the product information related with uh, related with the price of that product even uh, quality of that product and main feature of that product so that consumer facilitated choice then target audience advertise is for target audience for example 
if any luxurious product is there then your target audience will be rich people and not lower income people then creativity this is very important function or features we can say advertising should be creative and more creative advertising will give you more impact and so on next we'll move to benefits of advertising now advertising is benefited to manufacturer consumer retailer and so on today we will discuss with the benefits to manufacturer that is we can call it as a business firm now how advertising is helpful to manufacturer now who is manufacturer manufacturer is one who is producing any product so how the advertising is benefited to him that we will see here in this question so first one is introduction of product now if you are new in the market it means that you are a introductory stage it means that you have to communicate with the audience that you are in the market and you have launched some new product so that's why you have to take help of advertising whenever you will take the help of advertising uh, then you can communicate with the audience that you are new in the market and some whatever you have produced the product that you can tell to the audience next is modify attitude see it means that you have to change the attitude of customer for example if any customer is using colgate from last so many years now you are new in the market for example you have come up with the patanjali product now you have to build a good image of your product in the mind of customer then you have to advertise how you can change the attitude of customer only with the help of advertising next build loyalty loyalty it means that repeat purchase if your product is repeatedly purchased by customer it means that he is loyal with your brand loyal with your product when they will repeat purchase it means that they are loyal and how it is possible only because of advertising next market expansion if you want to expand yourself if you want to expand your product locally nationally internationally then you have to take help of advertising then facing competition if you want to survive in this competitive market if you see you know that there are number of products in the market and if you are new in the market then you have to do something different then if you want to face the competition if you want to survive in the competition then you have to take the help of advertising then what you can do you can give them some um, start new techniques like do you can provide them a discount or you can tell them new features of your product how your product is different that you can tell the customer and it is only will be help with the help of advertising Thank you so much.